really showing you how to integrate Verify with your Ruby project. So I've gone ahead and I've gone to the GitHub right now. If you don't know where it is, there's a link on the screen and in the description. But I'll go ahead and scroll down to the README. Now we have our table of contents, we have some example code, and finally we have our installation instructions. Now if you ever installed a gem file, this will all be pretty familiar. But you can either run gem install verify, or you can actually add this line to your gem file. Now I've already gone ahead and added it and installed it, so I'll actually be taking a look at the code, running some of it for you, and walking through the output. So right now, I have this pretty basic demo file, demo.rb, and you can already see it's broken up into four main sections. At the top, we have our require statements, require verify, and I also use require JSON here so we can easily read our JSON outputs. Right below it, we have our verify client. Now this is the main way we'll be communicating with the verify API. So to create it, you'll do verify client.new, and you'll be passing four parameters, your client ID, your client secret, your username, and API key. Now, if you don't know how to get those, I'll show you right now. We can actually go to the Verify Hub right here, and you'll want to sign in and then go to Settings. Once you're in Settings, click on Keys, and you can see we actually have all of these right here for you. So let's get back to the code then. Once we create our client, we'll also want some parameters. Now the function I'll be using is the function for processing images from URLs. So the first thing I've included is something called file URL. This is a link to a publicly available image, uh, in this case a receipt. And we also have a lot more parameters to choose from. Now all of these are really optional, the only thing you need right now is file URL, but just an ex as an example, I'll be going through them. So we have async here, if you want to process it asynchronously, I'd say it's set to false. And we also have things like external IDs. Now if you have an ID already defined for this image or this receipt or invoice, you can, inc you can include it here. So next I'll be talking about the parameters. And you can see that we pass in our file URL. This is a link to a publicly available URL. So the function I'm going to be using is the one for actually processing image URLs, which is why I included it. But we also have a lot more parameters to choose from. And all of these are, of course, optional. The only thing you really need to worry about is the file URL. But just to walk you through some of them, we have our async. If you want to process it asynchronously, I decided to set it to false. We also have things like external IDs, if you want to specify one in particular. And for longer documents, we also have max pages to process. In addition, there are also tags and categories. Now, Verify does come built in with its own categories, but if you wanted, you can specify them here. So once we have our parameters, our client, and everything uh, imported, we're going to get our response. And we do this by running verify client dot document dot process URL and pass in our parameters. Now, by setting this to this variable, we will get back our JSON output and we'll be printing it right here. So let's go ahead, we're going to go to terminal and we're going to run this. So we'll do ruby demo.rb, hit enter, and let's see what happens. So there we go. Just like that, we've already extracted all this information out of your receipt or your image. So you can see already we have stuff like uh, when it's created, the currency, uh, what exactly it is. Again, I uploaded the receipt. We also have things like the raw image URL, uh, along with a list of line items. Now this was received from an In-N-Out Burger, so you can see we have stuff um, like meat, uh, it's eaten, and we also have the actual costs, the uh, various prices. And finally, we also have our actual total amount. So now that we've looked through this as a JSON object, let's actually take a look at it in the Verify inbox. Now if we go back and we click on Inbox, you can see that we have this new document which has been uploaded. It's already got a logo, it's got the total amount, and if we click on View, we can actually go through and we can see all the various uh, items and information that we've extracted, just like that. 